intelligent people I know. The quote says this, women are usually the keepers of the culture, the ones who keep the family spirit alive. My grandmother and her sisters, my great aunts, made sure we understood who we were. As children, we loved hearing stories about the heroes and sheroes of their day. The men and women who made tremendous strides against the odds, those whose faith and courage were tested and proved. That was written by Dr. Suzanne Johnson Cook, and Anna Mays Cato shared it with me because it so aptly sets the stage for tonight. In my community, it has been readily observed that our women have been largely responsible for preserving the cultural knowledge and traditions we have left. Now, there's a difference between history and culture. And while some of our men have done outstanding work around our historical preservation, without the embodied cultural perspective, any history can become flat, uninspired words on a page. As women, we walk it, we talk it, we give birth to and raise children ingrained with the ancestral memory and attributes of the great ones who have gone on before just as it was instilled in us, and we called it good. The ways of our elders is something we seek to pass on and edify through our lineages. You will be hearing about some of those elders tonight, the stories of our heroes and sheroes will be brought to life by the cherished artifacts that we call their memory and impartations. You will hear stories that animate the soul of my people, something that an object alone could never do, as it is in the cultural context, which is part of what's known as intangible history, where the real gold lies. I appreciate the time and the energy that the speakers, scratch that, I appreciate the time and the energy that the keepers of culture have been willing to expand to put their presentations together. And I know it will be an enriching experience for all of us who have gathered this evening. So without further ado, I present Mother Wisdom, Christine Viva, Deborah Dobbins, Pamela Parker, our keepers of culture. Good evening, everybody. This is not the best uh, week I've had, as you can hear from my voice. However, I'll just wing it when I have to. <laughs> don't, don't ask too many questions, because I... Anyway, that's good. Okay, I am the granddaughter of two pioneer families that settled in Amber Valley. My maternal grandparents were Samuel Carruthers and Beulah Heslop Carruthers. My paternal grandparents were Willis Bowen and Jeannie Thickpen Boa. Both, both families settled in Amber Valley. Gee, <clears throat> uh, I can't even read my own. See, I'm getting old. Anyway. Sam and Beulah were both from a small hamlet 
and Lee County, Texas, before moving to Clearview, Oklahoma. Willis was from Greenville, Alabama, and Jamie was from Evergreen, Alabama. The Bowens moved from Alabama to a small, thank you, to a small place in